Hello everybody, Dr. Darok here, and welcome back to Thomcraft for Noobs. Today we're going to be going over a couple new things. Last time we went over a lot of the basics, um, but I got some feedback that that video was a little bit too long. So this time I'm going to aim for a shorter video with a little bit less content, but hopefully it'll be easier to pay attention and learn all of the content that I'm going over. So basically... Um, today we're going to be going over wand foci and some of the basic ones that you can get uh, pretty early on in the Thomcraft game. Now we're not going to be going over all of the wand foci, we're just going to be going over the general idea. Last time we did go over the first wand focus, and that is the fire focus here. Um, what's it called? Yeah, wand focus fire. Right. So... This time around, we're going to be looking at a couple of new ones. Research notes on this guy and this guy and uh... Let's see that's a question mark i'm gonna buy this one oh i don't have enough aspects to purchase this i think i'm short on one i'm not sure which so let's find out real quick Ooh, okay let me fix that and i'll be right back okay there we go so now i should be able to just go back over here and purchase this there we go perfect uh... this one i'm missing Ooh. Uh, what's it called? Gellum, I think. And that is... Okay, so I'm going to need to discover a new aspect quickly, which is going to be Perdidio and Ignis, looks like. Yes, perfect. So now I've got Gellum. I should be able to purchase this also if I had more Gellum and more Brigandadio, which I do not, so let me fix that. Okay, perfect. Now I should be able to purchase my Wand Focus Frost. Okay, so I've got both of these recipes. As you can see, the recipes are not that difficult and not that different from the Wand Focus of Fire. Uh, all of them require Nether Quartz and Shards and a uh, Reagent in the middle. Um, so, yeah. These two, I'm just going to go ahead and spawn in. These ones, I'm going to complete the... Um, I'm going to actually complete the research notes that I put in my inventory, and I'm going to show you my solutions. All right, so for this one here, Wand Focus Excavation, and Perditio. Ta-da! Okay, perfect. So that's how I solved it. You can solve it any way you'd like. There's an online resource for help solving them down below in the comments section. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solve the research for the Equal Trade Wand Focus, but unfortunately, as you can see, I do not quite have all of the aspects involved. Now, the aspect that I'm missing here, I happen to know, is called Permutatio, and it is Perdidio along with uh, Ordo, I believe. So, if I just do this... All right, there we go. So, now I've got more things there, and I should be able to do this very easily uh, by doing like this. Well, actually, one thing I want to do is I want to do Ordo and Victus to create Sano first, because it's going to be one that makes it easier a little bit. <laughs> and um, yeah, should be very easy. I need to create uh, some other things, though. I don't, I'm a little low on research points. So let's see here. Do some Permutatio along with... You know what? Why don't I just cheat my way through this by giving myself some research slash TC so I'm gonna type slash TC aspect my name and then I'm gonna type all and then I'm gonna type 50 and that should do the trick I should have more than enough now oh yeah quite a lot uh, but I did actually do something I don't think I intended to do and unlocked all sorts of aspects that I hadn't unlocked before. That's all right. Um, it's very easy to get all of the aspects, as a matter of fact, especially if you just mix them together. So I'm just going to assume you have access to as many aspects as you need. Either way, the biggest point we're going to focus on is what these wands do. I just want to make them properly. So the easiest way to do this one is I'm going to put Ordo here. Then I'm going to put Sano here, and then go over to Victus, right there in the middle, right? And then from Victus, I'm going to go to Famous above it, and from Famous to Vacuos, wherever that is. Got a much longer list to look through now. Uh, and 
for my next trick, we're just going to go Earth, Victus, Earth. Ta-da. So there we go. Got the wand focus of equal trade as well. Let's go ahead and open up these researches, put them in the Thaumonomicon, and take a look at their recipes real quick. So there's the wand focus of excavation. As you can see, it requires an emerald, so not exactly cheap. Uh, and this one is the wand focus of equal trade. Quicksilver is smelted from cinnabar ore, if you didn't know, which is a new ore added by Thaumcraft, as well as these balanced shards in the corners. Um, also going to have to purchase the focus pouch, because why not? So these are four of the wand foci that you're going to be able to use pretty early on in Thaumcraft. And uh, basically, I'm just going to pull them out of the creative inventory and show you what they do. Excavation, Frost, Shock, and Equal Trade. So, let's see here. I want Shock. I want Equal Trade. I want Excavation. And I want... Uh, da, 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 da. Where's the other one? Frost. There we go. As well as the... I'm also going to grab the Focus Pouch. So the focus pouch is just a nifty little inventory that you can place your wand foci in, and they will only take up one space in your inventory. So that's nice. And so I'm going to hold down the F key, and you'll see I've got a nice selection of different foci here. Now, the wand focus of fire I did show you last time, but uh, just for the heck of it, we're going to go ahead and re-demonstrate that. Duh, duh, duh. Let's grab some zombies. Yes. Perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a zombie and shoot it with fire. Die! Kill it with fire! Kill it with fire! <laughs> okay, so that's pretty easy. It's not very hard at all to learn how to use that properly. And, um, yeah. So next wand focus that we want to look at is going to be the wand focus of excavation. Now, whenever you hover over the wand focus in this um, focus inventory, um interface you're gonna see that it says in the top left corner up there exactly how much V's you're using on each tick that you use that wand focus so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the wand focus of excavation I've got plenty of Terra to use and uh, let's you know what let's go ahead and mine out this ore here as you can see that worked with like very n little problems whatsoever. Uh, the one focus of excavation is pretty cool. It allows you to mine things from significant distances, as you can see. <sighs> yeah. Okay. So yeah, that's pretty impressive. Uh, it's also pretty good for going into the ground. Very good with dirt. It's pretty fast. Uh, now the speed with which you mine things using the one focus of excavation is more or less based on exactly how uh, hard the material is. So that is the wand focus of excavation. It's pretty useful, but as I mentioned, it does require an emerald, so it may not be the easiest thing uh, early game to get your hands on. Next, we're going to take a look at the wand focus of frost. Now, the wand focus of frost is pretty interesting because the projectiles bounce, as you can see, so you can actually, if you want, bounce it around corners and things, or... Uh, you know, just attack things, but, you know, you've actually got to be really careful that you don't hit yourself whenever you, uh, go ahead and use this wand, because it can, uh, it can actually be pretty bad. Oh, boy. Yes. Eat hailstorm, spider. Okay, now the next wand foci that we're going to take a look at is going to be the wand focus of equal trade. Now, actually, let me go with shock. Oopsies. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so we're going to go with the um, wand focus of shock. Now, this wand focus is pretty cool. It shoots lightning bolts. Kabow, kabow, boom. Now, it used to be in older versions of Thaumcraft than the one that I'm currently using that uh, those lightning bolts would actually do special things like um, lightning bolts would. So, like turning pigs into zombie pigmen or or um, supercharging creepers. However, that is no longer how it works. So in the most current version of Thaumcraft, um, if I, oh, great, creepers. Everybody loves creepers. Yep, uh, time, it's creeper time. Okay, yeah, 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 whatever. See, so as you can see, uh, the creeper does not supercharge 
and uh, that does that's not how it works anymore. So if you're looking for an easy way to supercharge a creeper or hit something from another mod with lightning, this is no longer the way to go. However, it is a relatively powerful um, attack. Uh, that I would say is better than the one for fire until upgraded. But we're not going over upgrades today because that is a very complex block that requires a lot more research that we haven't quite covered yet. So I'm trying to cover everything in the most logical order that I can for the most part, um, or at least I really hope so. So finally, the next one we're going to look at is the wand focus of equal trade. Now, the wand focus of equal trade has a pretty crazy effect. Um... And yeah, so basically what we want to do is place down uh, place down a block in the world and then shift and right click on that block. Now, the wand focus of equal trade has actually updated itself. And if I left click on a block that's in the world, it will replace that block with the block that I set using shift right click. Now, I can use it, uh, now, if you ha want to place a different block, say cobblestone instead of stone bricks, then it's very easy to switch. Just place a new block in the world, right shift, right click again, and now it's set to the other block. Now, um, you might be wondering, what is the point of just changing one block at a time? Well, there's not much point in just changing one block at a time, but if you right click instead of left click, you can actually change more blocks ah yes so um as you can see that's pretty impressive and it, visually it looks cool and it made a big old square of blocks now um you might have noticed whenever i do that it is going to go ahead and uh oops well i'm out of <laughs> i'm out of stone bricks so uh, i guess i didn't get to make a second square but what I did show you is that it will break grass and things, and you can get seeds like that. And if there's other mods installed, you can get other mod seeds from that as well. So that's pretty cool, and it helps a lot with like setting up a new foundation for a house without having to dig out all of the ground uh, in the area. Now, do note that grass block and dirt block are different, of course. So uh, if you, say, have some dirt blocks over there and some grass blocks over here and you right-click on the grass blocks, it'll go to the end of the grass blocks, but it won't replace the dirt blocks because it's a different block than the one that you clicked on, um, you see. Okay, so today we went over four new wand foci. Um, it's, I hope it didn't seem too rushed. But I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to experiment with the length of these videos and figure out exactly what you guys like for um, mod info guides like this. So let me know in the comment section down below if you think this is about the right length for a video like this, or if you think that I should have covered more content. Now, thing is, I would go over a couple more wand foci, but if you've been following along with me with this guide uh, in a survival world or something then uh, the problem with that is that you won't be able to unlock any of the wand foci that I would be going over without going through a couple more complicated things that we're going to have to unlock. So on the next episode, uh, we will be, um, ex we will be uh, unlocking a couple new researches that are related to the Crucible and uh, are also going to be related to um, extracting essentia from other sources for use in the crucible and other things as well as creating files of essentia and perhaps even warded jars although i'm not 100 percent certain exactly how much we'll do in the next episode yet until i go and do it so um leave some leave some feedback in the comment section down below on what you think i should do and uh thanks for watching guys Oh yeah, and if you would like to keep exploring the Thomcraft for Noobs series, just uh, click the annotation on the screen, which will take you straight to the Thomcraft for Noobs playlist, and um, hopefully put you on the next video, if it exists yet. It may not yet exist. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so click that link on the screen. If you don't see annotations, like you're using a mobile device or something, then it's also down in the description down below. So like this video, share it, uh, subscribe to my channel, all that random crap that YouTubers say at the end of every video, and thanks for watching! Ouch. 
bounced off my head. 